throughout your work with the 48 firewall, you will often create a firewall object, an object that is used in your policy, in your SSL VPN configuration, and more. Now, what type of objects can you create? Well, you can create an IP pool object, a local area network object, a specific device object, that is a specific IP address object. You can also create a geolocation object, a scheduling object. You can create a service object that will run over TCP or UDP on a specific port. So let's start with a firewall objects tutorial. Firewall objects are the tiny pieces that make up your policies that you will use creating an SSL VPN. It is used just about everywhere. So let's look at how do we create a firewall object and where can we use it. So to create one, you can head over to policy and objects and from there move to specific types of objects that is address objects you can see that you already have some default objects but you can create create one using the new button and just name it let's just create um, a local LAN object it is of type subnet you can create different types of objects the IP address is 10.0.2. One slash 24. I'm using a 24 subnet. Once we created it, we can see it in our firewall object address objects page. Now we can use that specific LAN in our policy. So when we move to creating a new policy and we wish to use as a source the specific land that we have just created we can see it in our address pane all right another type of an object can be a service object let's just create one let's just name our service let's name it backup and let's assume that this is a service that is used for uh, backing up our data from our local area network to some server out there so name your uh, um, service object, choose the protocol type, either TCP, UDP, SCTP, choose the port number 52300. Let's assume that that's the port number that we are using and only uh, data on that specific port number will flow. Now I'm not using uh, uh, source ports because it is not relevant. Okay. Now, once we created our new service object, it moves to the uncategorized section. Now, if you want to um, assign it to a specific category, just do it. I will use general and it will go into the general service objects. Let's move back to my policy. And now in service, I can just look up the service I have just created, which is backup. And from now on, only services that are running on that specific port will be allowed. Another address object is the geolocation object. That is used uh, for many reasons. One of them is to deny traffic flowing to a specific destination. Now let's create one using our command line. So we will start with the config firewall address. Let's name our object um, denied country. Sorry for that. Too much spaces. All right, a new entry was added. Now let's set the type. It is a geolocation type. And let's set the country. Now, if you want to set a specific country that will be blocked, 
you need to use their first um, uh, letters. Now, if you don't know what is the first two letters of that country, just press the question mark sign and you will see a list of countries. Now, once let's assume that I would like to block my own country, which is Israel, which starts with IL. All right, and let's uh, end. And we have just created a file address object of a specific geolocation. Let's just refresh it. All right, and let's look for Israel. And there it is, that's the address object, which is Israel. Now I'm from Israel, so this is uh, only for demonstration purposes. And if I'll open up my firewall policy, I can actually set Israel as a denied destination. So that is one of the usages of a geolocation of a geolocation object. The next thing is once you have a device which belongs to a subnet, but you want to uh, treat that device in, a, in some manner, then you can create an address object only for that device. Let's do it using our command line. We can do it in several ways. Let's uh, use config firewall address object. Let's um, name the device my PC. Let's set the type to IP mask and let's set subnet to 10.0.3.4 slash 32. So it will only select my specific device. Now let's end it and let's refresh the page and let's look at the addresses and there's my PC that's my unique IP address that can be used as a source in my firewall policy so there it is now I can actually distinguish specific rules for that specific device the last uh, firewall objects that we will deal with is the scheduling time object. Now, let's imagine that we have a specific device that backs up uh, on that port that we have just created some data from our local area network. Now, we wouldn't want it to uh, work all days. We want it only on some specific days in a specific hours. What we can do, we can also do it from the policy page, but let's go back to our uh, uh, policy and object schedule and let's create a new schedule object. Let's name it backup. Now let's choose that the days that our device will backup is on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and you can configure the starting time to just about any time that you uh, wish. All right, so let's um, name our object, let's save it. And now on our firewall policy, we can choose our PC, we can choose our service, let's just find it we can choose our scheduling and we can choose our destination let's find our denied country now this policy does make really uh, um, logic but that's the way that you can create firewall objects and use them on your policy in a very granular way